It's January 28th, 2018, and I'm heading to Stillwater Basin in Belleville to start getting Windover ready for something we've been planning for about 15 years. We're going cruising. Well, the big day's finally arrived. We're taking the cover off, and uh, here we go. We gotta do some things before we start, and those things would be... Renovate and sell the house. Okay. Action. Oh, there's a car coming. Oh, shoot. Uh, so, Deb, a couple of events happened this week. You wanna tell everyone what's going on? Or? Set me up like that. Save yourself. <laughs> uh, anyway, so a little bit of news, and Debbie wants to make an announcement. <laughs> no, I don't. You do. Okay. Come on, Deb. You're being anticlimactic. Slow down, hon. Thank you. The neighbors. Yes. So they don't appreciate well, it when we're speeding. Here's a hint, actually. The ex-neighbors. Well, the soon-to-be ex-neighbors. Soon-to-be ex-neighbors. We sold the house! Yes. This is Chris going to get our directional sign for the sale of our home out on the highway. There we go. There's a happy man. How does that feel? Awesome. Yeah. We've also got to add a few things to our boat, you know, things that we've we'd like to see at sea. Right onto Dean Avenue, then turn left onto Jessica Drive. Chris and I are in Barrie, Ontario, and we're here to pick up a Voyager Windbane. Just to be clear, I don't mean this kind of wind vane, I mean this kind of wind vane. Once we've got this thing on the back, no electricity will be consumed, the boat will steer itself, and uh, we'll, we'll be able to get rest as needed, and um, good solid unit. And I have mounted it on the wheel now, in front of our electric autopilot, so this is a little lever that you turn in order to get it released so you'd be able to steer then by hand and once you lock it in other way I guess there we go thing of beauty 
So, one more job off the list. Little announcement to make. Uh, I've uh, been working away at the wiring for our mast, and this is the the mast here. And for the very first time in the five years that we've owned this boat, we have a functioning wind instrument. Woohoo! have these doors and they're really cool for the galley they're quite beautiful but the backs are plastic so we had them made in wood and we've been having some problems with the carpenter lining them up with the actual latches I didn't think I don't think you realize that that had to be done perfectly so we had to take them all apart and we had to reconfigure so now we have to sand the runners down so that it'll fit in the door so we didn't have an operating oscillating sander so I bought in Milwaukee today on sale, saved myself 27 bucks. Go girl! Did I mention I hate electrical? Uh, here it is, a beautiful day. I'm just, uh, just inside here, but you can see the wind is blowing very nicely out of the north. And here I am stuck inside. I'm, uh, the bane of my existence is this. I'll show you here. As you can see, it's a bit of a spider's web of joy in here. And Louie's been in trying to sort it out. I've been doing a little bit of uh, work on there myself. Uh, but uh, here are the new switches, new fuse for the windlass. New switch for the engine, new switch for the inverter. The inverter's going to go right there. And the inverter's right here. And uh, anyway, it's all it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Uh, I do have an owie on my thumb, uh, but I'm not going to complain. Anyway, uh, it's coming along, but it's uh, the worst part about maintenance as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's go do some engine work or something like that. Anyway, onward and upward. What's happening? Fine. <laughs> it was so noisy, so I made my own earmuffs with <laughs> with the dishcloths oh and goodness. a headband. Oh my goodness! So listen. What are you doing? Oh yeah. I'm just cleaning out, um, yeah, just cleaning out the, the oven. I found the oven wasn't quite working as much, so I'm just seeing if maybe uh, taking this to it helps a bit. That's anyway, kind of a nice so look for you. Thank you. <laughs> this is Nathan Brissett from Nye Boat Works. Nathan's uh, fixing up our windless base. A custom windless base. Custom windless base. Uh, you've done this before, Nathan? A few times. Yeah. <laughs> so this color is just straight white. And this will be a sanding base. And yeah, wait do you see what this does. See. When we sand, we'll still have a bit of the glass showing, but it just saves a step. Yeah. 
the old way, you put the glass on, you grind it, you sand it, you fill it, you shape it, then you're ready for spraying. But this will shortcut it so we don't have to fill. This is a industry secret that you're letting out. It is. The timing is crucial. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> well, you're not letting the whole secret out of the no, bag no, then. No, just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> So Nathan built a plywood block and then put glass over top of it and he's got to drill it out and put a bit of fiberglass down the holes but basically that's what it's going to look like. Right there. So what's the name of your business? Nye Boatworks. So Nye Boatworks have a bit of history in the Belleville area. Can you tell people about that? Alan Nye Scott was building uh, Contessas in Toronto. It was his first production boat. He was running a boat yard called JJ Taylor's and brought the molds for the Contessas over from Europe and built those. I think he built the boat that uh, Tanya Abbey did her record uh, circumnavigation in, didn't he? Probably. Yeah. And then he decided he wanted to get into build, boat building exclusively. So he came right down here, actually, to this property right here, which was uh, the old Morch Marine, and uh, started building the Albert 22s. And then went on to build the 29s and the 34s, which uh, then he built out of a plant in Bloomfield, in Prince Edward County. And built a lot. They built one boat every week, which by Boat building standards is not a lot. The Tanzers were building three boats a week, but his were uh, ocean going, heavy duty, far superior, really. Yeah, yeah. And the 29s, how many of those did they, did they build? Uh, about 120, what, 120? 120, that 120, many? 120, 125, something. Like really? That. Yep. I remember Alan telling me years ago they built one boat every week, and he was building out in Bloomfield since. Oh, he moved up there in 81, and he closed up in 86. You figure even five years, one boat every week. Oh my goodness, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a pile of them. Might even have been a couple hundred, I don't know. Yeah. You're an artist, Nathan. Well, you see the fresh swoops, it makes it look good, right? <laughs> yeah. If only Looks I had great. A lab, if only I had a lab coat. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Then it'd really be loud. A pipe would be kind of cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Looks good. It's just the shape.